Hi friends, I am Anand Bed, the, your tech guide at Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to basically rip apart and disassemble the base of the HP NV X360. This is a convertible series of HP laptops, the Pavilion series, and this will apply for all the 14 inches, 13 inches, 15.6 inches, all the variants that are the X360 convertibles. After watching this video, you will be able to basically replace the RAM, hard drive, put a SSD, replace the keyboard as well because. This particular uh, video will showcase how, without removing the touchpad, you can actually replace a keyboard. So let's do it. So if your laptop is something like this and uh, it opens up and you see the keyboard panel, the touchpad area to be looking like this, the base to be looking like this and the rear of which looks like this and it is a X360. It goes from 0 to 360 like this, then you can apply the procedure. Start removing the screws. So this is basically the way the inners of the laptop looks like. This is the hard drive area. This is where the RAM is cased. This is the M.2 SSD slot area. This is the keyboard and the motherboard and the backlit cable. So let's start with the battery first. Need to remove these screws. This is the battery that you have to buy. This is the LK03XL battery and uh, it has a 4600 mAh battery with 11.55 volt. Come into the hard drive here. Hard drive is connected through this uh, SATA connector cable. Just remove this connector and just remove the cable over here. There are no screws basically. So need to use a prior to lift it like this and the hard disk gives away. This basically has a SATA 2.5 form factor hard drive. It's held by this rubber casing. Just need to remove it. Then you need to remove uh, the connecting cable very gently with both your thumb fingers. You need to remove it. Don't remove it directly like this. It might damage it was very delicate over here. Just remove it like this. There is a stickering that is over here which has to be peeled and uh, put onto the new hard drive or SSD. You can put a solid state drive up to 1 terabyte or a hard drive of uh, up to 2 terabyte and uh, you can again fix the connector back. Now coming to the RAM part, it's a little casing that HP has uh, integrated. You cannot just remove it like this. It's again held by the sticker. Just need to remove the sticker holding on. And after that, you can just very easily remove it. It is held by these notches. So as you can see, it has got only one RAM slot area. One is one RAM is soldered onto the motherboard. So the maximum RAM upgrade capacity is up to 16 GB plus the existing 4 GB or 8 GB depending on the model. Just need to use your two thumb fingers, remove the memory. This basically has a 2666 megahertz DDR4 low voltage memory. This is the memory that you need to buy. 4, 8 GB or 16 GB is the maximum that you can uh, upgrade uh, this particular laptop to. 4 GB is on board, another 16 GB that makes it a total of not more than 20 GB. So let us put this holder back. Now coming to the M.2, it has got a M.2 NVMe slot. You can just take a, a M.2 NVMe or a normal M.2 2280 SSD and just insert it like this and uh, you need to just put a screw onto it. So people who want to replace the speaker, this is the speaker over here. This is a Wi-Fi chip over here. We have to go deep within inside if you want to replace your Wi-Fi chip. This is the DC jack connector. So people who have a problem with the DC jack over here can just go up to here. Need not remove the motherboard also. You can just basically remove the DC jack. Remove all the connecting strips. One, two, three over here. Now we need to remove the processor fan here. Just remove this cable which is connecting to the processor fan. Remove all these screws. So if you want to replace the processor fan if it has gone bad, this is the way you do it. This is connected to the sink here. So we need to remove all the screws. It's in the diagonal fashion that you have to remove. The entire processor fan will be out. You can just take a similar processor fan with the sink and replace if your fan is not working. 
now we need to remove the motherboard here now, this is the vg lvd cable just need to remove it because we have to remove the speakers so people who have to replace speakers have to go all the way up to here and the two screws over here before which we need to remove the motherboard so we will first remove the motherboard here so start with all the screws that you are uh, seeing which are visible this is the daughter board actually which is connected to the main motherboard you need to mark all the screws uh, which belong to the motherboard starting over here take a marker and uh, do it so that becomes easy remove this notch over here to remove the speaker cable a little bit of a catch here there is a notch which holds on just need to get it like this you need to remove this screw over here which is the wi-fi connector without which the motherboard will not come out remove the two antennas and then the motherboard will give away like this the very delicate motherboard especially in the center so for all the people who have interest in replacing the Wi-Fi, this is where the Wi-Fi chip is. Be very, very careful in removing this Wi-Fi chip. If you get this thing broken, this is the Wi-Fi chip that you need to buy, uh, AC750 Wi-Fi. Let's put it inside as of now. Be very, very careful in handling of this particular motherboard. So for people who want to replace the speaker, remove this screw. Already two screws we have removed. Another screw. You need to buy a speaker like this. This is the NV15 speaker. Now we need to remove the hinges over here so that the touchpad is completely off. This is the point where you can get the DC jack. Just get the similar DC jack like this and uh, you can replace the DC power jack. To remove these cables so that the touchpad will be completely off. Just have a look at how it has been arranged very carefully. First you need to remove the Wi-Fi cables, then the VGA and the touchpad will be off with the keyboard. So if you just want to replace the touchpad with the keyboard, you need to do this up till here and then reverse the process. And uh, if you want to replace the screen, just take a similar screen from HP and replace it. Now this is where uh, people who want to save some money, who just don't want to replace the entire touchpad, just want to replace the keyboard come into play. So you need to remove uh, the stickering that exists over here, double sided tape which is there. And remove the screws which are holding on to this entire keyboard area, basically just one screw that is holding on, the other two screws are not. It's the daughter board, just need to keep it aside so it does not get damaged. Just need to get some leverage so that all these rudders will all get broken. You need to apply some amount of force without which this will not happen. So you need to straighten the plate, it's very very important. And here comes the keyboard which again you need to press from the rear like this and uh, the keyboard will give away. And now you need to remove these rudders which are holding, all the visible rudders you need to remove. Let's keep this aside for now. Let's 
come to the keyboard part. The keyboard will come with this. Backlit pad will be separate and the keyboard will be separate. The backlit pad will have a view over here. It has to be pasted just behind the HP keyboard. So place it like this. Let's remove the view. Align with the places where the screws have to fit. keyboard is ready to be fitted here. Be very careful with this backlit uh, keyboard connector because chances of it getting damaged very easy. There will be this stickering that has to be removed. Let's remove it and uh, paste it. So now we need to start putting it back. First put the DC jack like this. Let's paste the sticker the way it was. Now take the screen. Take the speakers. Now start putting all the cables back. Do this before uh, fitting the motherboard, it's very important. Now start putting the motherboard screws back. Just need to be sure that it's not obscured. Let's take this and place it like this so you don't obscure the screw when you're putting the battery. So just check the display once before putting the base back so that there is uh, nothing that is amiss because otherwise you have to keep it open. Now the, you can see the display has come and uh, the keyboard also is working absolutely fine. So we have finally uh, replaced the keyboard, the backlit keyboard of the HP Pavilion X360. Now this is a very tedious process as you have seen in the video and I don't really suggest unless and until you have looked at the video at least twice because uh, otherwise which you might damage your laptop. So in this process we have uh, shown you how to put a M.2 SSD, NVMe SSD you can put onto this particular laptop. You can also uh, upgrade the hard drive uh, to a 2 terabyte or put a 2.5 SSD in the place of a normal hard drive. We have shown you how to replace the entire touchpad actually. If your touchpad is not working and if you don't want to go through the pain of removing the keyboard and putting it back, you can just replace the touchpad along with the keyboard which will be a little costlier affair actually. So you can actually use the backlit pad uh, of the earlier uh, keyboard also. We have not used it that way, we have used a new backlit pad itself. You can change the CMOS cell, Wi-Fi chip, literally everything. You can replace the motherboard, the battery, uh, we have shown you how to replace. So all in all, uh, we have taken you deep inside the HP Pavilion X360 and we have shown you 
how the hardware looks and uh, before you make the buying decision this is the video you should watch thank you so much for watching guys do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us